welcome. I know we have a few people here. There'll be more coming. Um, I'm Sarah Purdy. I'm the current president of PAVMT. And we have two guest speakers. You're here for our collaborative uh, physician finder group. We have both co-founders here that will go over all the details and question and answer because everyone's need for this service can be very, very different, which is okay. Uh, PAVMT has partnered with them, offering discounts and a one-on-one -on -one service that can meet each personal need. So today's session, there will be CME afterward for this uh, that we will send out as well. And with no further ado, we shall start. Um, so for today, we're going to go over kind of a brief overview of what PA VMT is. Most people do know that. And as a PA physician relationship, we're going to go over one of the reasons that the service is needed, all the state-by-state -state requirements, where you can find resources, what doctors or providers can provide. We have both of them here to go over all kinds of questions. And even afterwards, if there's questions, they're available. They're very responsive. And then some more telemedicine resources, and then we'll be open for free questions. It's going to be exciting. So most people do know me. I'm the current president. Um, you can always reach out to me for anything, and I'm here. So without further ado, I'm going to let Dr. Dan and Dr. Levy kind of introduce themselves. We see a business need, and we can fill that. So with further, further ado, Dan, you can go ahead and introduce your resume. Okay. Should I start? Okay. Go ahead. Well, uh, I'm, I'm the guy here on the, your screen on the left, and um, my skin is not quite as smooth and young looking as the guy on the right, but you know, I try my best. Anyway, I'm a radiologist and uh, also um, do a lot of medical legal consulting and um, very interested in uh, talent sourcing for all sorts of uh, opportunities like the collaborations that we have going on. It's all about the people for any business. Uh, there's five P's and that P is the first most important thing because without which your, your business is going to be in trouble. So we're about increasing the uh, care quality for everybody by having great people. Let's see, real quick, I went to Harvard, I went to Yale, I went to Columbia. Um, I have a few different businesses and I like long walks on the beach. And, and you have you have kids too, a whole family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, a wife. I have uh, three three daughters, and uh, hope and and hopefully they won't make too much noise. And I locked my door, but you never know. Yeah, there's no lock on mom's door here. Yeah. And then we have Dr. Dr. Grinman here. Yep, I'm uh, Dr. Lev Grinman. I'm a neurologist and a sleep specialist. Um, I've been friends with Dan for probably close to ten years now. And um, had an idea one day, realized that, you know, I had done some collaborating work myself. And I realized that there's a significant need out there for folks to find good collaborating doctors. And I spoke to Dan and we both decided that it's a good idea to spread the word and, and to um, start working with folks who, uh, who need collaborating doctors. And so we've been doing that now for, oh, a year and a half or so, close to a year and a half now, or maybe even longer, uh, feels when you're having fun, time flies. Um, I'm based out of New York. I, I'm also married. I have uh, three little kids as well. I have two two boys and a girl. And uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, Colin. <laughs> Who says that? Colin, um, Live. Uh, great. Well, yeah, I'm really proposed to work with, with, uh, with Lev, he's a great business partner and really cares about um, patient care. And um, we're really glad to be here. Um, we really want to thank Sarah for having us. And um, but this is just the beginning. So let's on onward and uh, uh, let's. Uh, at the end of every meeting, we say, "Go forth and collaborate." So let's go forth and talk about collaborating. We're going to run through a little bit of, I think the first thing we'll do is we'll run a little bit through our process of how Doctors for Providers finds collaborating physicians for advanced practice um, providers. Um, and then we'll go through some of these Q and A's um, explaining what the, you know, you know, some of the most common questions that we get um, from folks who are looking to find a collaborating physicians. So, I just want to say that the first part of the process is just contacting us, and there's multiple ways of contacting us. It can be done by email at admin at doctorsforproviders.com. It could be via our uh, 
uh, phone, which is on our website. Um, and we prefer to, we want to speak to everybody who is looking to collaborate. We're not looking to do this via email or via, you know, uh, in an informal way. We really want to get to know you and we want to figure out what you're looking for. And that is the only way we think to find the appropriate collaborating physician for you. Um, when you get in touch with doctors or providers, um, you're going to be assigned a um, account coordinator who, I, who, as I've said, is going to get in touch with you and get to know you. Um, if you are a PA who's practicing uh, telemedicine, and I guess this is why we're talking to pavement today, um, we're going to give you a couple of different options. We're going to find out what states you're practicing in um, and what type of telemedicine you're performing so we can figure out what kind of physician we need to match you up with. We, now, we have physicians in all specialties. It ranges from family medicine to internal medicine to um, specialties such as psychiatry, et cetera. And so uh, we are going to figure out what the best physician is for you. And then we're going to usually within the process, usually doesn't take very long, usually within one to two days, we'll provide you with a CV or a physician who is um, appropriate for what you're looking for. And if you are um, happy with that CV, we'll go ahead and schedule a Zoom meet and greet in, during which you will have the opportunity to uh, talk to the physician, answer any question. They can answer any questions that you have. Um, they may have some questions for you. Um, and so afterwards, um, if the Zoom meet and greet goes well, you, you know, you can go ahead and essentially start your collaboration fairly quickly after that. So having said that, we are happy to go through some of the questions that uh, Sarah has compiled for us in the Q&A. Um, in no particular order, we can talk about, um, let's say this question here, who bills me for my collaborating physician or medical director? Um, we make the process very simple. There's going to be one monthly fee that's paid to directly to doctors for providers. Uh, you will not be discussing or paying your collaborating physician. So whatever your monthly fee is, you'll be paying it once a month to doctors for providers, and that can be done via ACH or credit card. There's usually a small fee for credit cards, um, and we make it simple. Um, and that's, that's really what the, the next question is too. Um, again, ACH or credit card. Um, we deal with some folks who are in, uh, who need medical directors, not just collaborating physicians. So if for whatever reason, you're also thinking about starting a medical spa or an IV hydration business, we can help you with that as well. If you are in a corporate practice of medicine state where practice of medicine has to be run by and and the practice has to be owned by a physician, which a lot of the country still corporate practice of medicine makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, some of these rules are fairly ancient. Uh, but if you have if you're in a state where you need the physician to co-own or um, you know partly own or fully own a practice, we can find your physician who can uh, who can do that for you as well. Do we offer any discounts or promotions to new practices? We absolutely do. And we run promotions throughout the year. The exciting thing is, is that with Pavement, we all, always offer Pavement members 10% off of all collaborations. So we're very happy to do that for you guys. We absolutely offer collaborating physicians for telemedicine practices, or we wouldn't be here today. Uh, we have a price model where it becomes less and less expensive uh, to get a collaborating physician. But the more states you practice in, uh, the bigger the discount is for additional states that you need coverage for. And a lot of our physicians are already practice telemedicine, know exactly how it works, know exactly how to collaborate with somebody who's doing telemedicine. And so we feel very comfortable with, with, with that offering. And I'm going to pop in on this section to kind of go over more. Um, so telemedicine, that's the reason we're here, right? Yep, so, absolutely. and a lot of people use this service very differently. Um, applying for certain state licenses, sometimes you need a collaborative physician just to apply to be able to use it. That's something that people are looking for. Whether you're starting a 1099 position in a company, a lot of them want you to have your own supervising physician, um, even some full-time employment options in telemedicine. 
you're able to navigate that better if you're coming with a collaborator or even if you're starting your own business. So with telemedicine, it opens the door to many options and use of that collaborative physician as well. Um, and one of the things that I have on here as well is 50 states. Each state is very different with telemedicine if you've kind of been with us through the journey and the regulations are all different. Through PAVMT, we've navigated a lot of that. We have a lot of resources on our website per state by state. Even you know, doctors for providers are very in depth with these rules and regulations per state. So even if you're not quite sure, there are resources that we can help navigate that for you. Yep, and I just wanna add also that we are currently working with a law firm that is very specialized in uh, med spas and also types of, you know, work very closely with a lot of PAs and know exactly what PAs can and can't do at most states around the country. And so we can always ask our counsel, you know, if there's a unique question about, hey, this is a unique situation, um, we can always go ahead and ask them the, the right questions. And it's not going to cost you anything to, to, you know, to, for us to do that. Uh, obviously, we're not claiming to be legal experts, but it, it is very helpful having legal counsel um, answer those questions for you. Oh, it definitely helps. It definitely helps. I could talk, take this one. Can I add the collaborating physician to my medical malpractice policy? Yes. <laughs> well, we have both, uh, uh, both some of the, doc the doctors who are collaborating actually have their own policies, but yes, you can absolutely add them to your policies. And it's usually not very expensive to do that. Um, uh, and it's also a lot of times you can ask for a first year part-time policy rate, which is even less expensive. It can definitely depend on the carrier, but there are definitely a lot of options with it, adding writers, adding, depending what their ser services. So it's definitely doable and it can be a very common practice to do. Of course, I think we've touched on this. You know, we touched on this. Yep. You guys get 10% off. We try very hard to bring in companies that offer value, one-on-one -on -one service and definitely enhance what our members are wanting. So this is more of how do we find them? All their resources are on our webpage at www.pavnt.org, direct contact to them. Also their website, they have a very easy setup where you can self-schedule contact them pretty, pretty easily. Um, and it's very catered. I know they've talked about it, depending what your need is, you gotta do a one-on-one -on -one kind of in-depth of what you're looking for, what states, what your need is, and they can customize it. And also we had to search far and wide to find pictures of people that actually look just like us. us. So, uh, you know, like this one here in the front is, is me and the closest, you know, stunt double basically, you know. In this one closer, so. <laughs> yes, we only have the best stock photos. I tell you, it works. <laughs> um, and I know we've, for sake of time, we are fine. I'm going to go over a couple of things in the beginning real fast um, about telemedicine for this. And then I want to go over any questions anyone has. And we missed a couple questions from the beginning because. Yep, we can go back. No problem. Oh yeah, my child was just not having it at all today, which happens. She's two. She's two. Um, so yeah, PAVMT, we've been here since 2018. So we have definitely, we're, we are currently the only organization that are putting PAs in the forefront of telemedicine. Uh, we are backed by the AAPA and we have the resources to, to find out what you need or at least to help consult that direction. So definitely reach out to us and join join us as a member. Um, and most people here are PAs probably and what PAs can do at state by state specific. So where can you find these details is the most important because there's state PA rules and then there's state telemedicine rules. They're both two completely different things. And between us and the AAPA, we have all that covered for you. I mean, I don't have to tell you about the pandemic has definitely boomed it. Uh, before pandemic, it was one in 10 PAs were doing telemedicine in their practice. Now it's roughly two out of three, about 75% have incorporated wow. it. So it's definitely not going anywhere. Um, as most of us know as PAs, you know, we have that, this physician relationship, it's state by state dependent. It can easily be a supervisor role, collaborative or, or a delegate, delegate it. Um, and even we go toward our, what we call OTP, and this changes all the time, all the legislative rules of what's changing, what your needs are. We have that covered for you on our website at PAVMT. As a member, we have a state by state breakdown of what your state requires and how you can over navigate those waters. And of course, doctors per providers have all this information as well. So meaning between the PAVMT website, 
for all the telemedicine specific rules for PAs. The AAPA has all the state PA rules. And what you do, you combine the two together to find out what your need is, because they're very different. And then there are plenty of other resources that I have on here that have state by state reimbursement uh, for certain providers and certain state rules um, that change all the time. But we have all these accessible for our members as well. And we'll go over some of the questions that we didn't kind of, I think you dabbled in some of these. Yeah, I mean, uh, this, this is a good question. I mean, do you, you know, th this question is, do we charge any fees to match somebody with a physician? No, we, pr we do pride ourselves on not charging any fees. So until your collaboration starts, uh, you're not going to be charged any fees for, for the collaborating physician. It may be a lot of time on our end looking for the right doctor, uh, getting you guys multiple CVs sometimes, setting up with a Zoom, uh, doing a lot of back and forth, passing contracts between you and the collaborating physician. Um, we're fine doing that. We just want to get you see, see you get started. So, and we're going to offer all of that for free up until the point you actually start your collaboration. And that's kind of a big deal because other avenues of you hunting down on your own, you might have to pay it, an advertising fee or service cost. And yeah. all this is already included because um, it's having to find the right person to work with and, you know, hunting down to find that diamond in the rough, I guess. <laughs> but then your most precious commodity is for everyone in the health field time. is your time. Time. So yeah, we're saving you a lot of time, which a lot of time. translates to, uh, you know, bucks. And I know it's been touched. Everyone's been vetted, been back, you know, that these are the highest quality candidates you could find. Uh, right. There's plenty of people who've had horror stories about situations that may not work out with your collaborative person. They and uh, one of the things that I think maybe one of the questions here is, uh, well, so what happens if something doesn't work out with your collaborating physician? So unfortunately, we don't have a crystal ball. Um, family issues can come up, personal matters, um, or there could just be a difference in whatever. And sometimes you need to find a new collaborating physician. You start with one and you need to move on to another one. So we will find you uh, a replacement physician on short notice uh, most of the time uh at no additional cost so if something's not working out with your physician or your physician has to can no longer supervise you or you know collaborate with you we will find your replacement yeah that's huge there's and that's a, that's also a big peace of mind for our clients i know there's a couple other videos out there from our, some of our partner organizations about um some pas that had their their doctor suddenly health related unavailable and yeah completely yeah. halts the entire practice we yeah and that's and i mean that would be a nightmare if you, it, if, yeah. you if that is if that is a rate limiting step that allows you to practice and it's no longer there suddenly for health reasons let's say um you know you want to have options where you can find another doctor at a, at a moment's notice yeah patient care is at hand here i mean it's all about continuity of care and if you have to you know break that continuity that's not good for anybody no, no, not at all. Um, and if we start to get something that you've already talked about, you can let me know. But, but I know uh, you we, we haven't spoken. I mean, we briefly touched on everybody. this. Yes, we have many different types of physicians, hundreds, maybe at this point, we're, I think we're over a thousand physicians in our panel. Um, everybody, um, most, a lot of our physicians are multi-state licensed. Um, we have some physicians who are licensed in every single state, including, you know, District of Columbia. Um, and uh, we'll find you anything you want in any combination. And there's a lot of unique combinations that we've seen com coming from us asking for requests. So yeah, and we're we're happy to accommodate those because we do have physicians who purposely have many state licenses because they may be doing telemedicine themselves or they want to do more collaborations. They they enjoy it. Um, they may be they may have little kids themselves. We have a couple who have. Uh, small children, and they say, you know what, I really enjoy doing, being a collaborator. And that's one of the reasons why I'm getting more states. I want to get into this. And it's actually getting easier to find somebody who is multi-state licensed. Especially now more than ever. Um, and it's a fast process too. People can get- It's usually a fast process. I mean, there are some unusual requests that may be more difficult to fill, uh, but for straightforward collaborations, it's usually of us finding you a physician is usually just a couple of days. It can be same day sometimes. Um, a lot of times the wait is not on our end. Usually the holdup can be on the part of the provider. Um, or say the PA or the NP or whoever we're working with, there may be reasons in their life where they, you know, they need to, to wait a little bit to start. But usually we can get you what you need fairly quickly. 
time. Time is such a big time deal. is very important, especially depending if it's for a job or a business or whatnot. You yep. don't have a lot of time to. Kind yep. Of um, I briefly touched on this too. Um, before your collaboration starts, we want you to see your physician what they look like. A lot of times, your physician will be hundreds of miles away, maybe even thousands of miles away, and that's how it is with telemedicine, right? But you still want to know who you're dealing with. So you want to see your physician. So we always, always have a Zoom meet and greet with your doctor before you start. So um, you can, you know, put a name to a face um, and, or vice versa. And um, these meetings usually last 30 minutes. Sometimes they're a little bit faster, uh, but we, we do pride ourselves on doing this. And I, I know at one point when we've talked about this, if it doesn't seem like it's a good fit for any reason, there are still options to find the right fit. Absolutely. And this does happen. Uh, we've had uh, meet and greets happen where the our client came back and said, you know, I just didn't feel like I clicked with this doctor. We just, just seemed like me, you know, they were excited, but our personalities just didn't seem to match. We weren't on the same page. Would it be possible to maybe do a Zoom meet and greet or get another CV? And we always say, absolutely. We'll get you another CV and we'll do another match. And we've had people, and we actually insist on people getting what they want. Don't be afraid to ask what's good for you. Don't be shy. Don't be intimidated by the process. We're here to help you. You know, we're not telling you how to do your business. We're here to help you be the best version of, you know, of your professional self. So uh, we absolutely want you to tell us if, if you didn't like your position on the Zoom, we'll get you another one. We're not trying to play God and match make like, you know, you should be with you and you should be with me. We're about, you know, more of a Yenta, like, oh, you know, consider this person. They like long walks on the beach. You like long walks on the beach. Discuss. <laughs> it's a platform to bring professionals together that have a common interest and to find it the is. right partnership for either business, employment, whatever that need is. But it's just finding the right, you have a, a selection of like-minded, vetted physicians to pick from. Exactly. It's huge. Um, we talked about that. You know, if it yep. doesn't work out, um, like I said, I've had so many people that with COVID, people have gotten sick and been out or things change in life and things happen. So it's it's nice to know that you can have a safe backup because time is important when it comes to that. And I um, we discussed this briefly. There's okay. one flat fee that's paid to doctors for, to doctors for providers for your collaborating physician. So you don't have to pay us. You don't have to pay the doctor. It's all very straightforward. The quote we give you and what's on your contract is what you're going to be paying every single month. And we'll deal with the physician and paying them. And, and for, for some people, that's also a relief that they don't have to talk uh, finances with the doctor directly. It's not like trying to buy a used car when it gets all this back and forth kind of stuff. It's yeah, very, exactly. Very we'll do the negotiation for you. Yeah, very comfortable, easy environment to be able to find what exactly. the budget that that works. And, and uh, yeah, if we find that you know, and we've actually we've actually worked with doctors who we found to be somewhat intimidating in how they wanted to negotiate certain things with us. And we sometimes felt you know it, maybe it's not a good match. We sometimes felt you know if the doctor's really really being um, aggressive in how they negotiate things. We feel that sometimes that that is a reflection of their personality. And we've actually told doctors, you know, we don't think this is a good match for you. You may not be a great collaborator because you're a little bit too difficult to deal with. And we're, we're not afraid of doing that because we we only want people who are good to to our providers. Yeah, we have very high standards. For, you know, very high standards. Good enough to work with our advanced practice providers. You, know, you, have, to, you have to meet the mold and you know, fit the bill and other euphemisms. I mean, I can't tell you personally, I had one person that I was going to bring on and we came to an agreement and literally within a month ever later, he wanted to double the price out of nowhere. And it was like, well, that's something we need to talk about. So yeah, I just don't know what, what you could come up. I mean, literally it was doubled overnight. And I'm like, wow, well, that's, that's, that's not good. Yeah, it was, it was not uh, great. It was not a good me, if that was, if that was one of our doctors. No, no, no. This was, be happy this was with before that. this was. All the challenges before these kind of things were available. That um, doctor would be out the door. We yeah. would say, you did yeah. what to Sarah? No. Yes. No, it was not. I'll be clear. This is not here. This was way before this. Oh, week. I, I'm yeah. sure. I'm this sure. It actually brings up a good point because a lot of our business actually are from people who are dissatisfied with their current situation and they mm -hmm. came to us to bail them out. Um, so, you know, I believe that's it. A, that's a good percentage of our business. And we're here to help. It, it's so true. Um, solving a problem. 
Um, we'll go through a couple of resources that we have here and we'll take a, if anybody has any questions, we can go over, we'll go over a couple more things and um, we'll have all this available and all the resources. Um, so anything PA, anything telemedicine, you know, at PA VMT, we have all the resources that you need. If we don't, we can at least direct you on where to go and where to find it. And we can help be a consultant because it's still, there's things that are still unknown that we're still trying to, to find out and things are changing constantly with state rules, regulations. There's um, a PA portability license that's on the horizon. We'll have a compact license here before we know it. And that's gonna change things drastically too. The AAPA has all things, of course, state regulation. Um, make sure you're a member, make sure you're available for that. American Telemedicine Association, that's something that we work closely with. So much information and data. The Telehealth Resource Center and the Center for Connected Health Policy. We can't stress those enough of state resources. If you're doing telemedicine, you're billing telemedicine. What are the nuances to that? There's so many resources available that we constantly preach and push that. So I know um, for sake of time, we don't have a huge uh, live audience, which is fine. This will be recorded for CME purposes and it will be on all of our platforms. So future questions can all be directed to Doctors for Providers on their website, on PAVMT's website. You can access them directly. There's even an ask a question link directly on their site from us that you can have direct access. But if we do have anybody who's here that happens to have a I think question. we have a couple of folks are like waiting to get in. Oh, I hope not. It doesn't show up on my... Uh... No, don't, don't tell me that. I've been looking. I don't think I've missed anybody. Um, it can be hit or miss on this time of the night. And But thank you, Natasha. You've been sweet. She said thank you. Because um, I know everyone's need is different. So I'll pause here a minute to see if anyone here has any questions. And if not, I'll try to think of some we can go over and then... And you can, you can always reach out to us, you know, at you know, at Doctors for Providers, you can reach out to our wonderful staff, whether it be Nika, who usually handles all the initial phone calls coming in, or Courtney, who is our um, main manager, or just Dan and I, you can always email us, um, and we're happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah, and I just want to commend everyone on what you're doing, because this is really a, a new movement in healthcare, uh, to have collaborative medicine, and you're helping to bring care to Know, so many people where there wasn't enough doctors in the area so um you know it's a real opportunity so uh pat yourself on the back and you know what they say uh do not miss this opportunity to blow this up uh, this opportunity comes once in a lifetime yeah and to tell telemedicine in in general is just uh it's the way to go i mean we got to reach more people i knew you were going to have that playing dan well i thought this would be a good music to go out on Sorry. I love it. I love it. You know what? We got to have fun with what we do. We live life. You do what you like and don't be afraid to just go out and take things what you want out of life. We have a lot of entrepreneurs who are looking into this. I tell you it's worth it. We have more resources on our website for the entrepreneur. We have our finance uh, person on board for your 1099 stuff. We're trying to get legal support. So you have questions. We can find the person to answer them for you. So with that, I will thank everyone for coming. If unless anyone has any questions, I can't think of any. We've covered quite a bit. Um, the biggest takeaway is you know where to find PAVMT. You know how to find Doctor for Providers. It's an exclusive one-on-one -on -one partnership. Um, we have been very pleased and amazed at what they're doing for PAs and their level of professionalism and knowledge toward this that we couldn't be more pleased to to be happy to have them with us. So I'll let Dr. Dan, Dr. Grinman say a closing statement and we'll, we'll say our goodbyes. I appreciate everybody. Thanks everybody. We look forward to working with you and uh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for having us, Sarah. I really appreciate it. No, of course. And you know, you never know what you get on live with little kids, but you know, it'll make it more exciting. No problem. Maybe YouTube or something. Yeah, TikTok before you know it. All right, everyone, I will stop recording and everyone have a good evening. So thank you have so much. Have a good night. Like go forth and collaborate. I like that. <laughs> Bye. Bye.